Hey, 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 everybody. My name is Naya Wolf, and welcome to 35mm. Uh, something on the bottom of that. Uh, so this was a cheap game I saw on sale on Steam. It looked like a pretty cool, immersive game. Um, I thought it was originally a horror, but it's more of a story-driven type of game. So I was like, why the hell not? So let's see what's going on. I think that's us. Kind of looks like The Last of Us, doesn't it? Just, just, just a bit. В доме ничего нет. Посмотри сам, если хочешь. I need to check my inventory, okay? So, whatever that is, we have one camera, two knives, one set of fork and spoon, I guess? And zero batteries. F is flashlight. Oh, okay, I got it. Zero, one, two... That was weird. Okay, two is knife, one is camera. That's it. Okay. Oh, there we go. That was strange. I couldn't look around for some strange reason. Okay. We need scissors. Can we use the scissors? Picture. Okay. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this game is, like, about, or whatnot, but I presume it's a survival-style game, by the looks of it. Okay. Doesn't look like there's much in here. Hey. Can't we take the logs so we can build a fire later? Is that another thing we can do? Those bullet shells? Oh, they're cigarettes. Okay. Now what do we do? Yes, we get if we're ready, we can go. Yep, let's go. Alright, I'll, I'll just start walking then. I guess you'll follow. Five millimeter. Oh. Sorry, didn't know we were playing. My bad. Okay. Kind of looks like. Apocalypse has happened, unless we're in just in the middle of but fuck nowhere. Hello. I'm walking faster than you, and I'm walking sideways. How's it gone? <laughs> How's it gone? I presume I have to let you stay ahead of me. Oh. A crouch walk. I'm not checking your butt out. I'm catching up with you and I'm crouch walking. Are you kidding me? What is that noise?
I like the random tire tracks. I presume there's a vehicle ahead of us, so now we're gonna like totally jack it. Like, totally take it. Unless that's this. Which isn't this just a cart? Oh, it's probably from this. strange jump noise. This game looks pretty though. Oh, why'd you stop? Так, Give me a moment. Mm. Mm. That's right, we will be soon be, we will soon be on the road. Okay. Take your word for it. There's something over there. Maybe I'm hearing a plane or something. Je oh, jeez, hi. <laughs> I didn't mean to m like m morph with you. I guess I'll go on this side of the road then. Apparently, we don't have designated sides that we stand on to each other. Just whatever we feel like at the time, I guess. I guess the way this game would be immersive. This is very uh, casual. It's very. You're in the middle of nowhere and you're walking. <laughs> this is cool though, I like this. I still want to know what that noise is though. Kind of making me unsettled. Oh, it's stuff popping out of existence. Loading the stuff in front of me and de despawning the stuff behind me. I'm tempted to just sprint ahead and leave you here, buddy. Are you okay with that if I do that? I presume I'm not supposed to, but I want to. I hear you moving around, bitch. Fucking slice you. Stay away from me. Woohoo! Woohoo! I thought you're not even phased. You're just like meh, whatever. Right. If you're gonna be whatever, I'm gonna be whatever. What, you scared? <laughs> I ain't. I'm not scared. It's whatever. <laughs> this forest ain't got shit. <laughs> Quit switching sides, buddy. Remember, I'm the one who's armed here. Alright, so here's the road. Go, like. I am. Car, I see a car. I see a car. Acknowledge the car. Car senpai. that way. I gotta check this car out. Uh-huh. Open. Open. Hey! Stay open. Water. Alright. Can I open the trunk? Okay. Oh, better get the license plate. Just in case. Never know when you might need the picture. All right, all right. Let's catch up with our friend. Damn, dude, you don't wait for me. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, he is waiting. Nice shot, dude. That's a nice shot. 
I mean, I'm no professional photographer, but I'd say that was a pretty good shot. Well, Better than na any nature shots I've done. It's just a hobby. It's just a hobby. You've got a deep voice. Manly voice. It's a small time machine. It allows you to plunge into the past, to remember and to feel the emotions that accompanied us during that period of life. Oh, so are we a photographer? Although sometimes it is extremely painful, but it's good that there is such a possibility. Mm -hmm. I actually studied photography in college, so this stuff I've heard before. Well, not like that word for word, but uh, the time machine thing. It is very. It is definitely an artistic view uh, to to see it in that sense. I'm going ahead, just so you know. I'm like a little kid. I just want to go and explore. All right, let's see what we got. Knock knock. Oh. Ow, my face. Other than nothing and cigarettes. I got my cigarettes. Oh, oh, I got my cigarettes. I don't even know if that's a song, but it is now. Tractor! Damn it. Not much in there, buddy. Get flashed! Climb. I want to climb too. I'll go on the other wheel. No, get back on that wheel. I'll go on this wheel. Oh, there's no wheel here. Here it is. Look, I'm climbing. Caught. What? I hear a popper. Popper. Hey, smutty. Oh, come here, little buddy. Oh, uh, hi, doggo. Hi, doggy. Hi, puppy. Little pupper, hi! Aren't you a cute little one? You scratchy, scratchy. Pat, pat, pat. Come on, come on, buddy. Where you, where you going? Where you going, pup? Oh. Oh. Bye, puppy. Why we no take puppers with us? Hey, hey, why we don't listen to him whine? We need to take the puppers. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I want to take the puppy. I want to take him. Poor thing. Where the hell are we going, anyway? Do we have a map? What the hell is that? That's freaky. I was gonna say, is that a person? Can I take the gas mask? That's freaky. Hey, our friend stopped. What is it? Did I wander away too far? Yeah. Sorry! I wanted to make sure it wasn't like a Slender Man looking at us or something. <laughs> I have no idea what that bird is. He's getting fucking annoying. This is a nice little stroll, though. I mean, we've had the little, you know, thing here and there, and 
so on and so forth, but this is a nice little walk with you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Except for you, Mr. Slowpoke. Some of us want to get moving. Water! Going skinny dipping. Oh, okay, I guess not. Hear that gas mask guy. Bear? Quickly, get out of here. Oh god, bear. Oh my fucking lot. Ah! Puppers! What happened to you? Oh shit. Is he still coming? Oh yeah, he is. Whoop, 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 whoop. Wait up! I stopped the turn around. I did the one thing I'm not supposed to. Open the door, open the door, open the door! Do the door! Oh, jeez. No! I'm glad I didn't stab him now. I didn't know he had a gun. That would have been bad. <laughs> Noise in our ears, like... Electro beat. Where the hell are we? Oh my god, I should have had to rain so much last night. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna hurt my eyes. Alright. Bear with us. Bear with me. We can do this. Oh my eyes, this hurts. I'm sure some of you are out out there. This is really hurting. Just, just, just. We can do it. We can we can make it through this. Let's, let's let's just power through. Oh, what the hell? Where the hell are we? What the hell is that? Can't go through there. I'm pretty sure this isn't a horror game. That goddamn gas mask again. Ugh. Today is the fifth of, fifth day of hospitalization. The wards are crowded with patients. According to the hectic and erratic actions of doctors, they are in panic and don't know what to do. They wear respirators to some to someone even gas masks to give us some medicine, but it brings no benefit at all. No procedures are carried out. Half of my medical equipment are, are not working. Apparently, it was stolen long ago and wasn't updated as it usually happens here. They don't let us communicate with relatives. We get no information at all. They say that the epidemic happened not only in our city, furthermore, not, not only in our country. I hope things will come right. Okay, so we're like in an apocalypse then. And some like incident happened, I'm guessing. This door can be open. Oh, more bodies. Awesome. Goddamn gas masks. Okay. Doctor stuff. Ah, oh, that's getting really unpleasant to listen to. Yeah, I can't read those notes, apparently. Oh, can you get her on the bed, please? Oh. Large traffic jams and traffic. 
people are trying to score uh, and minimize contact with other. Lock, rarities are doing everything possible to normalize the situation. As we know, most direct hospitals are already overcrowded and our remaining hospital beds are not so easy to get. However, the positive dynamics of the treatment is not observed. Volunteers recommend to stock up on provisions and stay at homes as possible. Stay at homes as possible. When you notice the first symptoms of the disease, you should limit contact relatives to clarify the diagnosis. We will continue to broadcast in order to keep you in the loop of developments. Okay. Okay. So, is that our friend coughing and having a fit? Does he have the disease? Oh, Jesus. No thanks. I'll pass in that room. Don't you fucking move, I swear. Is there any positive thing to going into these rooms? So there's apparently a disease going around. Medical history. Um, patient entered badly conditioned with symptoms of hem hemorrhagic fever. We had been, he had been made the drainage to remove liquid from the abdominal cavity. After a series of interventions, the patient got better. His own immune system became active and is not common at this type of disease. Uh, a month later, the patient recovered completely and got 100% resistance to the virus. Nice. What's this note say? Hi. Oh. I can't take this anymore. Feeling the symptoms of the third day. Today, everything hurts so badly. Like I've been bathed in a molten tin. Molten tin. Medicines don't medicines don't help. Only drugs may dampen the pain, but they are ended. Okay. I can tell by all those syringes. Okay. Let's see what's down here then. I'm not moving. It's the game. No one can even imagine that everything is going to end like this. No one was ready for it. Not surprising. The Earth's population has decreased at times. Seemingly, there were more space. The air became cleaner. But no. The man turned out to be so wild and not adapted that he began to gnaw himself, panic, looting, conflicts. Conflict. No one was able to take on this burden and keep control of the situation. That's why everything collapsed. In my city, people began to break the windows, steal the values, medicines, food on the, on the very first day. They were stealing the cars. Per 
puncturing tires to others just so that they could get to the hospital first. Damn. But no one knew the medicine was already powerless. That's really upsetting. I need to start with things here. It'd be a good to bring water from the well. You need food. Okay. Alright. So, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Holy moly, this has really gotten immersive, and I feel like I'm involved with the story already. Um, so as far as I know, there's a virus, we're in an apocalyptic-styled setting, uh, where there's a disease going around killing people, and some people are immune, most medicine is powerless to help with it, and only some drugs only dampen the pain of it for short times. This is, wow. And it's a really damn shame that people can be like that. That can get so selfish like that. I don't know. I just, I have never been able to do that kind of thing. It's it's never been in my nature, but I guess some people are just too much more selfish than others. But with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this anyway. Sorry to get a little depressing there at the end. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, check out my end screen stuff for some other stuff I've done for you guys, and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. With that being said, guys, I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye.